So I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking why I don't buy a winter beater car or something that's like designated for driving in the snow. So here it is, here's my uh, winter beater. The combination of BMW's X-Drive all-wheel drive system and the Bridgestone Blizzite tires make this car just invincible in the snow. So I bought this car specifically with winter driving in mind and it really wasn't my intention to buy a BMW, I was just looking for a manual transmission car with all wheel drive and it just happened that this E90 was quite a bit cheaper than uh, WRX's with uh, similar mileage. Not to mention this car already has a lot of the comfort features that I want like the heated seats, the comfort access, all the things that I would kind of miss if I had to uh, drive a really budget uh, 90s beater car for the winter. I guess we could drive my wife's car during the winter, but it just goes back to my car being all-wheel drive and already having the winter tires on it, so it's just better equipped for driving in the snow. There's also ownership costs associated with any car that you buy, no matter how cheap it is, so you would still have to insure it, you'd still have to do maintenance, oil changes, stuff like that, and then you'd also have to get some good winter tires if you're going to be driving it in the snow, which the BMW already has. So when it comes to snow driving, there's really no other car that I would rather drive. So we're actually in the middle of a big winter storm right now. It's already snowed about a foot so far and it's still coming down. So yeah, let's head off to Subway and try to put this all-wheel drive system to the test. All right guys, I'm at the car wash right now. I'm gonna attempt to try to rinse some of the snow and stuff out of the wheels. When they get clogged up with snow, it kind of throws off the balance a little bit. So uh, the water that comes out of here is pretty warm. So we'll see if we can clear some of this up. I think I managed to get out most of the snow, so let's go get a sandwich now. filled up with snow trying to get that shot just now man my hands are like frozen right now trying to shoot out in the snow but it's all good I'm just having fun trying to get these shots all right I got my sandwich got some new wiper blades for Katie's car and Red Bull well because it's awesome So I just made it home and after that little arctic winter voyage that I just went on to get this, this better be the best sandwich that I've ever had. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. So as I said, um, the E90 is my winter car. It's my summer car. I believe that cars should be driven, especially if you have an all-wheel drive car. I think that we can all relate. Like, we look forward to these uh, snow days, the blizzards and stuff, because you can kind of take your car out on the road and put the capabilities of the all-wheel drive to the test. And it's just so much fun to drive it like that. So. Uh, yeah, for me, I'm not going to be buying like a winter car or anything like that. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you really need a second car just for winter? Or if you have all-wheel drive or any car that you're driving, do you just drive it all year and just uh, do the best that you can? So I'll leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, one more thing just on a little side note, I want to give a huge thank you to my wife Katie for buying me this awesome lens, uh, kind of as a Valentine's Day gift for me, so uh, she let me open it a little bit early so I can play with it, but this thing is amazing, I've been uh, geeking out over it ever since it was released a few months ago. It's the Sigma 16mm f1.4 for Sony, 
This is probably my favorite lens that I've ever used. I've only been using it like this afternoon, uh, this morning a little bit, but I can already say it's my favorite lens so far. So I'll link it down below in case you guys are uh, anyone that's a Sony shooter. If you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link for it. But yeah, this thing's awesome. Thank you so much, Katie. I love you. And uh, yeah.